Hey everyone, this is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we will be doing a showcase of our latest new toy. It's not one of those collab units, but we did pull the Rigna. So this one is the Water Series. I'm just gonna have it on a Swift Build Speed Crit Damage Attack. I think the damage output should be pretty significant because we do have about 1000 it attack plus on it and we are gonna be fighting this Japanese guild over here in our world guild battle. Alright, we just picked our units and for the first team we are definitely gonna go with the Camilla, Belial and Ariel. I do not want to troll the match too much since we are doing a little bit of testing of the Rigna and I just feel like playing my Fire Gojo as well. So this one we are definitely gonna pair up Rigna with the Adriana fitting in Kakano for the speed lead. And then we are gonna be bringing in our Nana Byongcho as well. However, instead of the El Sharion, we change ours to Gianna. <laughs> and then for this one, the Naftis, Ezio, and the Fire Gojo. Last but not least, we are gonna secure the win over here with the Eladrol, Leo, and Dinah. I think this team will never ever lose. They are very tanky towards all this kind of Chandra comms. I just pray that they don't stun us too much, alright? So this one... Yeah, I need them to probably kill off my Belial here. The Nikki's damage so low though. Yeah, I might as well just cleanse everything away. I do not want to use the Madness Judgment yet. So this Nikki does have around like close to 40k HP. Because around 20k is at 50% at the moment. She does have the heal though. Didn't get the increased cooldown time. God damn it. However, do we just go greedy with the second skill coming out from Belial? I feel like doing it because there's no more heals on his side. Alright. And we know we can soak up the third skill damage, no problem. <laughs> okay, we even got the freeze off onto the Zen. Nice. Alright. This one is looking really good for us because the damage output from this Mimir. Isn't really that high though. Ain't no way he's killing off my Camilla. Right, we go down again. So, is that two more turns for the Madness Judgment? I believe so. Yeah, the beauty of having Zen on the opponent's lineup is that we can reduce the Belial's sword count. <laughs> the. The turn count faster. Alright, nice additional turn. We brought down the Mimir. And we do have the Madness Judgment coming up. Okay, let's just finish off the Zen. Moving on to the second round. We are definitely gonna be buffing up here. And let's see the damage onto the Sierra. 79,000! Hey, not bad. <laughs> I like it. Okay. And we always crit as well. Look at the amount of damage done. Okay, we pop the Endear onto the Teomars. Wow, we even got the Oblivion off onto the Nyx. So let's just see this damage here without the buff. Not much. <laughs> hmm. What's that 8k damage only? Fair enough. Okay. So with buff, it's around close to 80k. Which is nice, you know? Definitely able to one-shot something. So this one, triple stun. Our Gianna is popping off. We pair it up with the Nana. Means that we do have 100% accuracy, by the way. Okay, because 55% accuracy from the Nana's leader. Okay, another nice stun onto the El Sharion. We'll slowly work a little bit onto this Nana. Just when I praise Gianna every single time, man. She don't want to perform again. <laughs> Wait, can you land your bomb, please? Shit, man. Okay, nothing happened, right? We ain't dying yet. Nice, nice. Can we stun? We get one stun. Let's go. Okay, we can finish off the Nana as well. Come on, Gianna. Okay, I shall just shut up next time. <laughs> I won't praise this unit anymore. Okay? We are still not in the clear yet because our Nana only left one stack. Okay, there we go. This bomb will secure the win. Moving on to the fourth round. 
Do some fast lane here. The Barbara very fast though. Nice stun onto Kakano. What is the point? He just violent proc out of it. Huh, now I'm in a pickle. I feel like I need to remove this unit. We put the threat state onto the Ezio. So Kakano is forced to hit him. Thankfully, no crit. <laughs> okay. Not able to dismount the Barbara just yet. However, Kakano goes down as well. Dismounted Barbara means that we should be in the clear because Gojo's passive is so good against all these single target hits. Alright. I like it a lot. And for this one, I feel like we gotta go all in onto the Eludia. Alright, this Light Phoenix should be very squishy. <laughs> wow, we one-shotted it. Nice stun. We even got this additional turn to continue on with the Inevitable Wound. So, another dismounted Beast Rider over here. Wow. Our Dina. <laughs> A little bit disgusting though. But fair enough, you know, sometimes opponent gets their violent proc. This time, I get it. So 3v1 against this Chandra. Ain't no way he's winning against 3 win units. Yep, he goes down 5 out of 5. Moving onwards, I want to play with a few units that I've never really used for a very long time. The Dominic Halfas. We are gonna be bringing in the Manon, Lulu, and Diaz as well against that lineup that I lost in the Siege Battle. I'm just gonna show you guys that it is actually safe, okay? <laughs> I wasn't trolling with that lineup when I brought it in during my siege battle. It's just that we were very unlucky because at the end of the day, we do have 100% resistance onto the Diaz. They just kept stripping and then, yeah, Oblivion non-stop. Usually, we can resist a little bit here and there. Our Manon did not do anything as well. So this one, I believe, is a free win. I am not really paying attention towards it. I just want to bring down the Ophelia in time, though, because she's gonna be so annoying with the invincibility buff with the threat state as well. So I just need to pay attention that we do not lose our how fast, all right? So this one, we got no choice. We can start working a little bit onto the Molly. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, Han here can't do shit against my Halfas. <laughs> yeah, we can always heal him back up to full life. We just need to make sure that the Molly's normal attack doesn't doesn't strip the invincibility buff. Alright. So a lot of shields back onto this Ophelia. So annoying, man. Bro, that's done. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that 2 turns invincibility buff again, bro. Chill, man. Can my Dominic proc one time? Are we even on violent? I remember I put violent runes on you, you know? It was violent destroyed, by the way. <laughs> Why you no proc? Huh? Okay, we can go for the attack buff. Yeah, the chat state, we're forced to hit it. So this unit back to almost full life. The destroy is only around like 25% though. However, she put the invincibility buff onto the HUD. I think this is our window of opportunity to bring down this unit. Okay, looking good, looking good. No invincibility buff. I think we can kill off the Ophila here. Nice! Alright. Auto button onto the Molly. We can relax a little bit. So let's see whether we can get a perfect score for this siege. Okay, this one is definitely in the bag. Come on, Molly, just go down, my friend. You're already last hit. Bro. Why you have the skill, man? Yeah, ain't no way you're stopping Dominic. <laughs> Dominic's damage is just too good. Once in a while, yeah, when you can find the right lineup to bring it in. This guy shines so bright, alright? So this one, can we get some stuns? One stun onto the Iris, okay. So, who do we kill first? I feel like killing off the Rakan. <laughs> wow, the damage output though. 
actually legit. However, we didn't silence up the Miang, so she got the heal off. Just gonna hinder us a little bit. Okay, Blade Fan onto my Naftis. Thankfully, no stun from this Iris. And we should be able to bring down this unit real soon, alright? Yeah, let's just go for the second skill. Make sure that unit dies. And we can put the distraction once again onto the Naftis. Okay, counter silence. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's just go for the third skill. Or oh, even does almost 11,000 on armor break. Not bad. Okay, this one. I feel we snipe off the Abelio. Yeah, might as well. 75,000. So it's pretty consistent, around like 70k. Uh oh. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. We kill off the can. Hmm... Sierra no detonation, right? So she needs to normal attack here. It's not even on a crit rate build. Oh! <laughs> Luckily we got 3 turns. Okay, I'll take it. So this one, come on! Man on Lulu Diaz, don't let me down, please! I swear to god. I never really lose with this lineup. So now we can just go for the buff here. We always work on to the Chandra because Chandra is going to be so annoying. Okay, nothing is happening. No Manon counter as well. Okay, nice. One stun. Two stun? Good job. <laughs> that is how it should be every single time, alright? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like all those turns though. They all just poke out from the stun. Chandra still alive. Okay, he dies towards the counter. Another stun onto the Narsha. It's okay, it's okay. We kind of have this one in the back. We can cleanse the Diaz up again. And then we can go for the two turns immunity once my Lulu moves. This is looking really good for us. However, we can't seem to land the armor break onto this Tassarion. So yeah, that, that's pretty unfortunate, you know? Come on! Maybe I need to add a little bit of accuracy on it, I guess? Okay, now my big stun. <laughs> the damage output is so good though. Yeah, this is how it should be, guys. Alright? Like I said, I wasn't trolling when I bring in this lineup. It's actually legit. Okay. Manon is still alive, full life, forever, you know? So this one... What can Daniel provide? I am not sure. We need some stuns. Did not get it onto the Eladrol. Hmm, no armor break. Ah, shit, man. Okay, I'll take that. Daniel's quantum explosion damage is... Pretty good if we can push back with the Savannah, you know? So, second skill also doing around like 6k damage onto this unit. Ooh. So, Eladro might revive the Kakano because we don't have the reset yet. Oh, this is a problem. Oh my god, that stun. I need to stun as well. Okay, perfect. Okay, good additional turn. <laughs> oh, do we have the quantum explosion? We will definitely use it. Look at that damage. I like it. I like I like this team a lot. Although with Gianna in the field here, it means that we don't have speed lead, right? If the opponent is fast, then we could die. But we'll definitely take this one. Another five out of five in total. Ten wins. Okay. So we are finally cooking a little bit. In terms of Daniel, maybe in the future I'll pair a speed lead. Maybe like a Clara for the strip into Savannah pushback and we can follow up with the Daniels a damage. It's basically a reckless assault AoE, right? <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you do, make sure to like it and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.